Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying two items from 7-Eleven. This is 7-Eleven, 7 Select. Uh, this is, these are uh, Curno, is how I would say that. Uh, mine's pound cake with pecans. <laughs> Kevin cheated. Well, mine's a sweet and golden butter flavored croissant. How about that? Go. So you don't even have to worry about saying the name correctly if you just say that it's a croissant. These were sent to us from uh, Stephen and Angela and Brooklyn and Reese, and they live in South Carolina. And fortunately for us, they have a 7-Eleven in their area. So they picked both of these up because they knew we had not tried them. So, I'm gonna pick it out and then you can Oh, that's fine. So this is the um, sweet and golden butter flavor croissant. It is, it says one serving, one piece is 290 calories. It feels like just bread. Just bread. <laughs> now it does not have heating instructions No, because it's 7-Eleven normally. Well, you could throw it in one of the microwaves there, but normally you just grab it. It you know? says it's made in Mexico. It smells like Hawaiian roll. You know one of the Hawaiian rolls? Mm -hmm. That's what it smells like, but it's not quite as sweet as a Hawaiian roll. No, but it's very, it, it resembles the, if you've ever had one of those Hawaiian rolls, that's the texture. Mm -hmm. Kind of that really kind of dense, but fluffy. Yes, texture. that is the texture of that. Now, it's good. You could very easily put this in a toaster oven, mm -hmm. your regular oven, you just, a, just a hair microwave. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then you could put butter, jam, whatever you want to put on it. Um, that would be um, unless you're just wanting to eat like like Ashley just eats bread. She loves bread. I like bread she too. Does. This would be good for those if you're traveling. Or if you want something just bready. Yes. And this tape, you know what that really reminds me of? You know the trays of dinner rolls uh, from like, I don't know, Rainbow or somebody like that. They're the little, they're cardboard white trays. Yes, but Hawaiian makes those too. Yeah, that's what that reminds me yeah. of. Yeah. Those rolls. That's, that's what that yeah, Hawaiian me. makes those dinner rolls too. So they're good. Just know that it's primarily bread. It is. But now, Ashley's always been that kid who wants bread more than anything. So if you were on a road trip and you stopped at 7-Eleven, you could totally buy that and she would have been completely happy. She would have rather had that than potato chips or a candy bar or anything like that. Um, that this would have made her day. So uh, just know, I think it's nice to know they sell it like that. This is already sliced. Oh cool, I got a knife. I didn't realize it was sliced. Well, this I'm making is, sure, but yeah. No, it is. This is a pound cake with pecans, and it is, it says two slices. You get two full slices for 270 calories. I'm trying to make sure you get pecans. And it's so uh, fluffy. You put it back before. I don't know I'm gonna eat the rest of this. <laughs> Not it's very good. It <laughs> it's very good. It's not. Um, it's not overly sweet, but it's, it still has a sweetness there. And pecans are really good too. That's good texture. I'm wondering. Okay, this one says. Uh, hmm? This one says distributed out of Irving, Texas. See, this one very specifically said it was made in Mexico, but now it says it's distributed out of Irving, Texas too. I'm wondering. My question is, is this one made in Mexico as well? And the reason I'm wondering that is because um, I don't know that we have tried many 7-Eleven items that were actually made in Mexico. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering if, like, because uh, the parlors live in South Carolina, are the, the items that are made in Mexico, are they sold in the southern states because they're closer than like shipping these up north because they're bread items. South Carolina is still pretty far away. <laughs> it is. It is. It is. It is far away from Mexico. But you know what I'm saying? Like these are bread items. So you wouldn't want to, would you want to ship bread items all the way from Mexico to let's say New York? So I'm wondering if you have a 7-Eleven like in the the northeast or the northwest even do you get these bread items that's what i'm curious about ultimately i know it's a long way to go about that question but that's just what i'm curious about um i love that that yeah, it's very good it's got a sweetness to it but not too sweet 
The pounds it, are good, add a little texture to it. Yes, it, it, it's very sweet. Yeah. And that, I don't, I would not heat that up. You no, could. it tastes good just the way it is. You could heat it up, but it's good exactly the way it is. Yeah. And normally I'll say, oh, you could add butter or whatever. I wouldn't add anything mm -hmm. to it because I think it is perfect exactly the way mm -hmm. it is. It is. It's um, very good. And you get enough slices in there to... Uh, if you're on a road trip, which we always say road trip for 7-Eleven, I don't know why, but I always think road trip when I'm thinking of 7-Eleven. Um, buying food at a, at a gas station convenience That's store. That's a road trip kind That's of always thing. what I think about as road yes. trip. But there's enough slices there where you can get a family of four and they could both, they could all get four, uh, two slices out of it. They could, or if you were going to have uh, people over for coffee or tea, afternoon yeah, tea, you could, buy one of these. you could absolutely buy one of these and it's already sliced and and go ahead and split it up and yep. lay it on a on a plate, uh, and that would be perfect. And I don't know how many people have would have actually considered 7-Eleven for something for like an appetizer type thing. But I mean, this it's is good. really good. And out of the two, this is the one I would get. Yeah, because the other one's just bread, basically. It's just like a roll. Right. But now Ashley, it's very picked, good. Ashley would have picked this one. It's very good for what it yeah. is. It's just right. good for. Comparing the two, it's just bread. Right. So thank you so much for sending these to us. We really appreciate getting the trial because you know we won't be getting them around here because we don't have 7-Eleven. So I'll have a picture for you at the end and thanks for watching.